Matt, we have a late addition added to UFC Fight Night headline by Jessica I and Cynthia Calvillo, and it comes in the form of strawweight bout between Maria Agapova taking on a late notice replacement in Hannah Shockwave Cyphers. Matt, very interesting fight because originally Agapova's UFC debut was supposed to be against Melissa Gatto, and of course Gatto, a lot of people might be familiar with her and anticipating her debut. This is the third time she's been booked in a fight unfortunately had to pull out due to extenuating circumstances and in steps Hannah Cyphers and Matt similar to somebody else who's on this card in Charles Rosa Cyphers lost not that long ago it's only been a matter of weeks for Hannah Cyphers she took on Mackenzie Dern got submitted in the first round and the submission looked pretty gnarly it looked like one of those ones where maybe we take some time off or a little ginger on that leg but no she's back in taking on American top teams Agapova who's eight and one and it's a very, very difficult test and a tough hill to climb. And I say that uh, with a couple of different meanings here because Maria Agapova is going to be huge when compared to Hannah Cyphers. I mean, yeah, she's thinner for the weight class, but she's 5'6", has 70 inches of reach. She's taking on a much smaller Cyphers, 5'1", uh, 62 inches of reach. This is a very interesting fight. What do you make of it? And for Hannah Cyphers to come in on such short notice, does it benefit her at all? Uh, no, not at all, I don't think. Even though that her training camps would kind of be back-to-back, -back, so it's not really a short-notice fight because she would have had all the training from the Mackenzie Dura. But this fight kind of reminds me of two that Hannah Cyphers has already had. She fought Pollyanna Vienna she in won. another fight. Exactly, she did, but barely. Not a good fight. But she had won a fight against a really tall range, a really good prospect coming into the UFC. And then you got to bring out the Angela Hill fight. And I know Angela Hill's quite a bit more polished out of really any of the fighters that we mentioned. But she did not handle that range well at all. And then once she did close the distance, got taken down. We've kind of seen, at least as of late, Hannah Cypher's ground game's not that great. She has good boxing. She has good power for the division. But she has to get so close to you to actually land those big, powerful shots that... Against someone like Maria Agapova, I just don't know if she'll be able to get that success of, you know, moving inside, trying to brawl. And she has to be able to eat a lot of shots on her way in that I just don't know if she'll be able to do. And the other thing with Agapova as well, training at American Top Team right now, she's from Kazakhstan. She's only 23 years old as well. So kind of one of those newer wave strawweight fighters that we've had recently. And you can lump her into the class of a former opponent that she took on on Dana White's Contender Series, Tracy Cortez, but she's training with the likes at American Top Team of Jillian Robertson, Mara Romero Barella, Amanda Hebas, Amanda Nunes, Ioana and Jacek. So a lot of things going for her, and odds makers seeing it her way so far. Only one book that has odds on it, uh, Bet Online. She's a minus 255 favorite. Hannah Cyphers coming in a plus 215 underdog over on Topology. Limited sample size because this fight just got announced today. Um, out of 195 people, 75% picking Agapova. Do you think she has a good method to victory and maybe more tools in her tool belt? Uh, oh, 100%. Just because Cypher, Cypher's needs to either go inside, make it a brawl, try to win by knockout, which is just hard to do in that division because, you know, it's 115-pound women. They don't have that much power behind their shots. And uh, Agapova can stay on the outside, use her range. If the fight does go to the ground, I favor Agapova heavily, especially if she's able to get the takedown and get in top position. Because with Hannah Cyphers, I mean, her only two UFC wins are the Pollyanna Vienna fight and Jody Escabel, two women who aren't even with the organization anymore. So if you can beat Hannah Cyphers, it kind of shows that, yes, you belong to, you deserve to at least stay in the UFC. And I fully expect Agapova to be able to get it done. Matt, I'm going to be predicting a win for Agapova as well. And you're not going to want to miss the rest of our predictions for this card. Two minutes for the main card, two minutes for the prelims, and five minutes for Evil Eye and Cynthia Calvillo. And Matt, as we always say, with Fight Night Picks, let's, let's get it. into it.